Do not buy 12 Tribes on Earth Hair Growth Oil and Hair Magic Elixir unless you want super healthy, gorgeous hair that grows. They have a whole line of amazing hair growth products, including hair growth leave-in conditioner spray, hair growth shampoo, hair growth spray, and hair growth butter. I'm starting to sense a theme here. They include quality natural ingredients. They smell amazing. And you can see the results for yourself. So if you're looking for healthy hair growth for your natural or relaxed hair, try 12 Tribes on Earth today. Ladies and gentlemen, Kamala is out here putting Donald Trump on notice because over the last few days, he has done everything to get out of this debate. First, it was ABC News was the problem. He wanted it on Fox News. When it was first announced that she was running for president against him, he said she would be an easy win. He'll debate, debate her any time, any place. Well, since then, Donald Trump has been backing away. And yes, Kamala is now out here calling him out. She is talking about his felonies. She's really dragging him. And I know that's why he doesn't want to do this thing, because he doesn't want those felonies coming up. Mm -mm, he don't want nobody talking about that on the <laughs> in a debate. So nearly five months after Donald Trump vowed on social media that he would debate any time, any place, anywhere, the former president has backed out of his promise. Given the continued political chaos surrounding crooked Joe Biden and the Democratic Party, general election debate details cannot be finalized until Democrats formally decide on their nominee. Trump's communication director, Stephen Chung, said in a statement, Chung referenced former President Barack Obama, who has yet to endorse uh, Kamala Harris. Actually, he did today. He did. He endorsed her today. And it claimed that there is a strong sense in the Democratic Party that Harris cannot beat President Donald Trump. And they are still holding out for someone better. Therefore, it would be inappropriate to schedule things with Harris because Democrats very well could still change their mind, Chung wrote. No, they're not going to change their mind. And all the funds that have been raised in a short period of time for Kamala, now nah, ain't going to be no change in mind. Sound like y'all just making up excuses. So the news arrived after Trump and President Joe Biden previously agreed to two televised debates. One already occurred on June 27th and the other on September 10th, before the first took a disastrous turn as Biden's performance cast widespread doubt among the Democratic Party and led to calls for him to step aside. And he did. He did. And we know Kamala is a much younger candidate in comparison to Joe Biden, 81, and I believe she's 59 years old. Okay, so amid the mounting outcry, Biden dropped out of the presidential race minutes later, endorsed Harris. Today, I want to offer my full support and endorsement for Kamala to be the nominee of our party this year. This is what Joe Biden wrote in a statement. It's time to come together to beat Trump. Let's do this. His endorsement was soon followed by other party leaders, including former President Bill Clinton and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Earlier this week, Harris earned the support of enough Democratic delegates to become the likely party nominee for president. Delegates and the Democratic National Convention will still be able to vote for the candidate of their choice in August. It's really not that far off. I believe it's like around August 5th. It's not that far off. 
However, uh, virtual roll call will be held during the convention. Delegates can pick a nominee prior to the Chicago event. Trump, who previously said that debates could be uh, run by corrupt DNC when faced with Biden as an opponent, recently said he believes a debate against Harris should be hosted by Fox News instead of ABC. But see, I don't think that's fair that Donald Trump is doing that because they had agreed upon that back in May. And he was fine with that until um, Kamala came into the race. Now, all of a sudden, it should be switched to Fox News. Despite his waning eagerness to take on Harris on Thursday, the vice president said she is ready to go in and show down against Donald Trump and accuse him of backpedaling. Yeah, she's been saying that all over the campaign trail and pretty much calling Donald Trump out as a coward for trying to back out. I think Donald Trump is making a big mistake. You know, you were more than willing to debate Joe Biden. And now Kamala is in his place. And now all of a sudden you're running away Mm, just saying, it's just not a good look. I said that before. This don't look good, Donald Trump. And she's out here calling you out and really making you look like a big coward. Y'all tell me what you think about this story that um, Donald Trump wants completely out of the debates. The final debate is really not a, more than one. It's just one, September 10th. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.